Welcome to the part two of the Blender Clothes tutorial. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry, stomach, stomach cramps. Okay, so as you see here, I've already done one. The empty, which is this object here, one of the axes, is par is um, parented to the vertex. To do this, we go into. First, we have to place the 3D cursor. Shift S, cursor to be selected. Alt A, so Shift A. Empty. Now, this is what we do. I'm going to wireframe move. And we right click, making sure that the mesh is the highlighted one. Go into edit mode. Now we simply press Control P, you get make vertex parent. And now when you move the vertex, you move the empty. I'm going to scale down the empty for convenience. Okay. We're going to add um, one more, we're going to add two more. An edge loop here, edge loop here. Goes to selection. Okay, so we have a uh, empty rigging done. So you can see the cloth simulation has worked out. I'm going to do the cloth simulation again because we changed our topology. Free bake, bake. That should be enough. Okay. Now the next thing we do, I, I am going to hide these by pressing the H key just temporarily. Could move them to another layer, which means have the same effect. Shift A, add single bone, rotate. Now we're going to want to create a little chain of bones. The longer, the more pleasant your animation shall be. Oh, an object. Okay. Minus one, did Okay. You may want. You should add more bones if you're really looking into this. Okay. Control P. Automatic weights shall do. Select this. Make sure that bone envelopes are not selected. Pose mode. Alt hide, so 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 Alt H. You have to be in object mode for this. The empties are allowed to have an offset, so we want to place these at a 
similar place to where the bones are. I really shouldn't have done the center one, so I don't know what I was thinking. So, next thing we do, we shall go back. We can select the we should select the bones. Go into pose mode. Bone constraints. Add constraint. Clamp to the name of this MD01. The name of the MD which is very very close to it. If that doesn't work, try inverse command. Okay. Ah, inverse IK target empty O1. So as we see here, when the empty moves, the the clothes will move. Bone constraints do the same for this. Okay. Empty O. Sorry, that's spline IK, okay, not IK. Okay. Just ordinary inverse chromatics. Wrong one. Wrong one again. <laughs> Ugh, what the hell? Which what? Empty. Okay, now let's hide. I'm going to change the ana change the playback time to about thirty frames, and we have the finished results. Done very very badly for tutorial purposes only, but this is how. The more bones you add, the the more sorry. you have to um, go into weight paint and change the influence of these bones for it to stop affecting these areas here. But that's not the point of this tutorial. But as you can see, it creates a much easier effect. It creates a much more natural effect. Let's say. How should I say? It allows you to keep the mesh clean without having to. Oh, it allows you to keep the mesh clean while still having cloth dynamics.